eBay sellers, it's Suzanne. I hope you're having a great day out there in eBay land. And this video is by request. It's actually very different than my normal videos, but several of you have asked. So since you are my loyal audience, I thought I would give you an answer. Some of you have asked about my skincare routine. And I'm so flattered by your comments that you think my skin looks healthy and vibrant. And it's actually a very long story how I got here. It's not just about my complexion, it's about my overall health. I wanted to go ahead and tell this story since it is now going on two and a half years since I got my health straightened out. And my disclaimer here is that this is not medical advice. This is my story what I did, the resources I found, and what worked for me to get my health turned around. This is not the direction my channel is going. This is a one-time video to explain my journey because several of you have asked and I wanted to give you an answer. So we're going back to 2016 when I was diagnosed with type two diabetes. I had been feeling terrible. I went to the doctor. My A1C was 11, off the charts high. And that day was pretty horrible. They put me on insulin. I had to learn how to inject myself with insulin and about four other medications that go along with being a type two diabetic. For example, blood pressure medication. Never had a problem with my blood pressure in my life. The protocol for a type two diabetic is you have to take blood pressure medication to protect the kidneys. Okay, so I just did what they said. I didn't know any better. And gradually my numbers improved by following the established medical protocol and I started to get better. Then about a year later, I started gaining weight, feeling worse, I couldn't sleep, I was extremely fatigued. I could hardly walk up the stairs. I felt horrible. And that was the year I turned 50. And I thought, I am too young to feel this bad. Other people my age don't have all these problems. What is wrong with me? I'm doing everything the doctors are telling me. Following the diet exactly exercising as much as I could. I was so fatigued, I could hardly do anything. And then I couldn't sleep at night. I had insomnia. So I just couldn't get a hold on my health. I was not getting better. I was getting worse. So I continued to follow the protocol until the spring of 2018. My numbers kept getting worse, but I was doing everything right. And I don't know if you've ever been in this situation, but you're doing everything the doctors are telling you and it's not working and you go to them for help and they call you a liar. And, you know, I was just depressed. It was a terrible, terrible time. So I went to the doctor in April of 2018 and explained all of this, tried to get them to believe me. You know, I'm a person who follows the rules. I take direction well. I try to do everything right. I care about my health. And, you know, I just got lumped in with everybody else that um, was lying and didn't care about their health. And so the doctor said, oh, we're going to put you on another medication to make the metformin work even better. And I said, what? Another medication? Um, to make the one that's not working work better, that does not make any sense to me. And type two diabetes is an illness, a problem with your insulin. You have too much. And they wanted to give me more insulin. So I asked the doctor, why would you give me more of what's already not working? 
I already have too much insulin. That's why I'm having all these problems and gaining weight and feeling weak and fatigued and depleted all the time. Why would you do that? And the doctor had no answer. She said, that's the protocol. You know, she didn't think, she didn't try to explain it. And she said, so we're gonna put you on this and we're gonna increase these other medications here. And I said, you know what? Um, yeah, no, you're not. You're not gonna do that. I'm, I'm done. And I just walked right out of the office. I didn't say goodbye. I just stopped at the front desk and paid my bill and I was done. Traditional medicine did not work for me in this case. In fact, there is a movie on Amazon you can watch called Fat Fiction. And it explains all of this, how traditional medicine and traditional diet food intake for type two diabetics is all wrong. Um, what's in the mainstream is wrong. So watch that movie, it explains a lot. Um, so anyway, I went home that day and just had a major meltdown. I just didn't know what to do. And I thought there's all kinds of people that heal from type two diabetes. They reverse it with other methods. And I was gonna find out what those methods were and go that direction. So I got online and I found three people that really helped me Dr. Eric Berg, Dr. Jason Fung, and Dr. Sten Eckberg. All of those links are below if you wanna to go to those channels. And again, this is not medical advice. I'm not trying to convert anybody. I'm just explaining what happened to me. So I started watching those channels and understanding type two diabetes and how it works in your body and what it does to your body and what the medications do to your body. And that was exactly what was happening to me. And I just felt this renewed sense of hope that I could turn this around on my own by following this protocol. So let me share with you what I do every day. <laughs> One of the wonderful byproducts of this protocol is healthy skin. Your whole body is healthy, but your skin does start to glow and you just look a lot better. <laughs> so here is a, uh, a video clip from 2017 before I started this protocol. And you can see how bad I look. My hair looks terrible. My skin looks terrible. Um, this is just proof that I have changed. <laughs> I do look different. And I appreciate all of you noticing. I feel so much healthier and it shows. So let me go over a typical day of the types of foods I consume and then what I don't consume anymore and just give you an idea of what I do because it's not just a skin cream I use, it's healing from the inside out. Okay, the first thing I changed to was intermittent fasting, which is, uh, all the rage right now, you can find out lots of information about that online. But basically I fast for 18 hours a day and I have a six hour eating window. That in itself is very healthy for your body. And that is what will turn type two diabetes around because you're not constantly putting food in your body every two hours like traditional doctors recommend. When you do that, you're Blood sugar is just doing this all day, up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's what wears out your organs. That's what makes you feel so bad because you're just crashing all day. When you do intermittent fasting, your blood sugar stays stable. And then when you do eat, you eat nutrient dense foods. So the first thing I do in the morning when I get up is I have one to two cups of bulletproof coffee, which that is organic coffee with a tablespoon of grass-fed butter. I know that sounds disgusting, but um, you put a little bit of stevia sweetener. Stevia has no effect on blood sugar. It's not sugar. And I put that in the blender and mix that all up. 
and it is delicious. It's like drinking a brownie. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to consume things that taste disgusting. It's just something you want to get used to. There are all kinds of health benefits to grass-fed butter. And the objective here with the intermittent fasting is that you convert your body from sugar burning to fat burning. There's all kinds of markers and symptoms if you are a sugar burner. You crash a lot during the day, irritability. Um, you can look that up and read about that. But after a while, you become a fat burner and it's so much more efficient for your whole body and you feel so much better. I can't even explain the change. And I'm the last person in the world that was going to give up sugar, but I did it and I'll never go back. So just a note about the grass-fed butter. Um, it's has great health benefits. It has K2, which protects your heart. It has vitamin A, which is retinol that does all kinds of things for your eyes and your skin. It has omega-3s and um, grain-fed dairy doesn't have all of that. Grain-fed dairy and beef is not natural. That's not what they eat in their natural environment. They don't eat grain. When you go to grass-fed products, there are so many more health benefits. So yes, I do put the Kerrygold butter in my coffee with a little stevia, mix it up with a blender, and one, sometimes two of those in the morning over about a three hour period, and I'm not hungry. People say, oh, aren't you starving? You're not eating breakfast. And it's like, no, I'm drinking what I need, and I feel great. And the brain power you get from intermittent fasting is, I can't even explain it. You just, you're on fire with ideas and you're getting things done and you're productive and you feel so good. Once you switch from being a sugar burner to a fat burner, you're not hungry. You don't think about food all day. Okay, so I go on about my day and then about three to four o'clock in the afternoon, I eat my main meal, which consists of usually a huge salad. So I'm talking five to seven cups of organic greens, kale, different lettuces, spinach, green vegetables really make you feel good. And if you're not a salad eater, there's other things you can do, but that worked for me because I can put even more nutrient dense foods in that salad and just eat everything at once. So I'll do seven cups of greens, a whole avocado, artichoke hearts, different vegetables, usually all organic and broccoli sprouts, which are a microgreen. They have tremendous health benefits. So you can read more about that if you're interested. Um, I also put nutritional yeast on my salad, which has a lot of B vitamins, which is good for energy and your brain and pumpkin seeds. And then I make my own dressing with a high quality olive oil and apple cider vinegar. And then my own spices. I don't buy anything pre-made because it has unhealthy things in it like MSG or modified food starch, things that I don't want to eat. So this is definitely a process. You have to learn how to do this, but now it's a routine. I've been doing it over two years, so it's no big deal. Also with that main meal, I eat some protein. It may be three to four eggs, pasture raised eggs, not cage free, but organic pasture raised eggs because the chickens are out on the pasture eating what they're supposed to be eating and they're not being fed grain because that's not natural. So pasture raised eggs have so many more health benefits. And again, they're good for your brain. <laughs> um, I may have some grass fed beef, um, wild caught salmon, lots of omega threes in that. And don't click away, um, sardines. I eat sardines a couple times a week because of the health benefits, sardines in olive oil, not toxic canola oil or vegetable oil. I also eat a small bowl of sauerkraut 
because that is a fermented food and that has a lot of health benefits, especially for your digestion and your gut. So it sounds like a weird combination, but my focus is consuming nutrient dense, high quality foods because I feel so much better. This is all about how I feel. I'm not just doing some wacky weirdo diet just for fun. I'm doing this because I've seen the results and I don't ever wanna feel bad again. So I keep doing this protocol. Then later on, I may do what I call a special coffee drink, which is decaffeinated organic coffee with a scoop of collagen powder, which is great for your skin. But I started taking it for joint pain and it really helped. I am a retired gymnast and my body was beat up <laughs> doing gymnastics. So it's starting to show now in this decade and I can feel it. So that collagen powder really helped with the aches and pains of a older retired athlete. I also put cacao powder in that coffee drink that has a lot of health benefits, magnesium, manganese, and it's good for insulin resistance. Just about everything I consume has a positive effect on insulin resistance, which is the problem when you are type two diabetic. I also use maca powder, which comes from a root. That's also good for insulin resistance. And I can just mix all that up and drink it as a fun coffee drink, uh, maybe with a little heavy whipping cream and some stevia to sweeten it. And it's delicious. And it's very satisfying. That collagen powder is very satisfying. That's like a meal. If I don't do the coffee drink, then I do what's called my nutrient soup. And that is just make it up right there on the spot. About half a cup of bone broth, which has a lot of nutrients in it. I also put in nutritional yeast, the collagen powder, turmeric, and pepper, you need to eat those two together because the pepper helps the turmeric to be absorbed into your body. So you always wanna do those together. And then some apple cider vinegar um, and salt, mix that up and it's just a broth, but you get all those nutrients in there in one shot and it's efficient to make it that way. Okay, what about beverages? I consume a quart of Pellegrino mineral water every day. That has a lot of potassium in it, which is good for insulin resistance and it's delicious. And it has actual minerals in it. This is what humans were designed to drink, mineral water. The water we get out of the faucet, everything's filtered out of it. So it doesn't have those minerals in it. And Pellegrino is the highest quality mineral water you can buy. So I'm drinking my minerals. And again, it's just delicious. I also drink the LaCroix type carbonated water. I don't do any soft drinks, soda, occasionally green tea or herbal tea, but um, that's it. And I don't, I don't miss soft drinks, colas. I don't miss any of that. And my friends make fun of me for drinking that fancy water, but I drink it for a reason because of what's in it and how it is beneficial to the body. Okay, and then in the evening, I may have a little small meal. If I haven't had eggs that day, that's when I eat them, two to three eggs. I also consume nuts and nuts with nothing on them because the processed kinds, like the planters, nuts in the can, um, they have toxic oils on them. So you want to eat your nuts without any oils on them. You may have to go to Sprouts or Whole Foods or somewhere to get that type of nut. But um, no peanuts because that is actually a legume and it is a low quality protein. So I consume either walnuts or pistachios because they are best for insulin resistance and they have the omega-3s. Okay, what about healthy fats? I've already talked about the grass-fed butter, but I only use olive oil, 
or coconut oil. Canola oil, vegetable oil, corn oil, all of that is terrible for you. It's highly inflammatory. And if you could get that out of your diet, you're doing yourself a huge favor. As far as vitamins, I really don't take that many. I do take some extra vitamin D, especially in the winter because you don't get as much from the sun, but it's not a vitamin protocol. You get your nutrients from the food you eat. Okay, foods that I avoid because they are inflammatory or just outright toxic. The big one, especially if you are type two diabetic, is sugar. It's inflammatory, it makes you hurt. It's an endocrine disruptor, which means it causes your body not to work right. And you can look that up, endocrine disruptor, and read all about what they are and how they affect your body. Also, cancer loves sugar. That's one of the first things that you're told when you're diagnosed is stop eating sugar because cancer just thrives on it. Sugar causes weight gain. It damages your arteries. It causes depression and mood swings, irritability, and accelerated aging. It also accelerates cognitive decline, which means impaired memory and may lead to dementia. So I don't consume soft drinks, sodas, candy, desserts. I read labels carefully and as a general rule, do not consume any type of sugar. Of course, every now and then I'll have something if I'm out socially or it's a holiday, but I usually regret it because it makes me feel terrible now since my body's not used to it anymore. Um, the next big one is fried foods and fast food, mainly because of the low quality oils that everything is fried in. And you can read up on this, but the oil is usually seed oils, which means vegetable oil, canola oil, corn oil, cotton seed oil. And it's very processed. It has to go through a very long process to even become oil. And in restaurants, especially fast food restaurants, they don't change it. They just keep using it over and over and over again. It just keeps getting more and more cooked and more and more toxic. And it's just terrible for you. It's full of omega-6s, which are not good for you. And the worst thing you can eat is French fries because uh, potatoes are inflammatory and they're usually GMO. And then they're fried in this very low quality oil. And really they don't even taste good. Um, on the occasional time I want some French fries, I will go buy one organic potato and then fry it in beef tallow, which is lard and it's delicious. That's how people used to cook before all this processed food came along, but that's like one or two times a year. And then I've had my fix, but um, I don't do any fast food or fried foods. And then again, the oils, vegetable oil, any kind of seed oil, canola oil is a seed. Um, shortening is terrible for your health. And all this is found in processed food, all those little pre-made cakes and pies and desserts and cookies have that kind of oil in them as well as sugar. And um, those types of oils have omega-6s which cause inflammation. And you can look that up and read more about it. But reducing your inflammation will make your whole body feel better. And you just um, you won't believe the change once you do it. And then when you eat something that is, is made from these bad foods, you just really feel it and it can actually make you sick. I don't eat any corn, wheat, rice, or potatoes because all are inflammatory and usually GMO. And if you just take out the potatoes, you can greatly improve arthritis and joint pain because they are quite inflammatory. So that's a lot of starches, but I do a ketogenic diet where I don't eat the starches. I eat plenty of delicious, very satisfying food and I don't miss all that. Um, another thing I don't consume is chicken because it's highly processed, factory farmed, fed grains. It's just not an ideal protein on the ketogenic diet. So 
Um, I don't miss it, but that is the base of a lot of fast food restaurants is chicken. I don't consume processed meats such as lunch meat, hot dogs. Um, they have nitrates and MSG and most are grain fed. So none of those things work for me. They just don't have a high nutritional content. I don't consume milk or yogurt, mostly because of the sugars and milk does have lactose and milk sugars in it. So I do consume dairy products, but only grass fed and mostly fats. Nut butters, I don't consume that. Uh, peanuts are a legume, they're not even a nut and they're a low quality protein. Usually nut butters are processed, contain sugar and toxic oils. So that's another thing I don't even miss. As a general rule, I don't consume fruit. Maybe two organic apples a week, but that is a high sugar item. It does have a lot of fiber in it, but um, human beings can survive without fruit just fine. And I eat a lot of vegetables, so I get my nutrients from living food through vegetables. Medications, I do not consume any. They are endocrine disruptors. They cause insomnia, fatigue, and I don't even need over-the-counter medications because I usually feel great and I don't get sick. Okay, alcohol. I consume occasionally socially. I used to be a wine drinker at night, but I'm usually so busy doing other things in the evenings and don't think about it anymore. It really affects me more now that I eat clean and I feel terrible the next day which leads to lack of creativity and lower productivity. So I just, I don't even miss it. I don't even think about it. And my energy level is up all day. So I don't wanna disturb that in the evenings with consuming alcohol. And then of course, smoking, I have never smoked. I don't do that now. And that we all know the dangers of smoking. Okay, I'm getting to the skincare part, <laughs> um, but let me share why I follow this protocol because it does seem very strict and regimented, but all of my numbers are in normal range and I check them periodically with self lab tests every few months. I have not been back to the diabetic doctor because they did not heal me. Type two diabetes is a progressive disease. It never gets better once mainstream doctors put you on medication. It did not work for me. So I decided to be in charge of my own health and figure this out myself. So I check my numbers with self lab tests a few times a year just to see where I am. And I do an A1C test, cholesterol test, and just make sure everything is in order, which it is. So I have healed myself by following this protocol. I did for myself what mainstream medicine could not do for me. And I do think that they try to keep you sick so that you'll be a return customer. And that was my experience. No diabetic doctor, and I went to three of them, none of them, offered me any solutions of how to reverse the disease. I had to figure that out on my own. Another reason I follow this protocol is the increased brain power and creativity. Everything in my life that requires concentration is so much better than it used to be. I used to have to take naps all the time, two or three a day, because I couldn't focus. I would uh, get this brain fog and I couldn't think. and that's gone. I just, I go strong for 12, 14 hours a day and back to the eating. Sometimes I forget to eat because I'm so busy doing other things that it's just not even an issue. The third reason is increased energy all day. I don't get tired. Sometimes I just take a nap to give my brain a rest, like, cause there's so many ideas going on and I just have to bring it down a notch. So I'll just go lay down. But it's not because I have to, it's because I choose to. And 
I'm just as good at five o'clock in the afternoon as I was at nine o'clock in the morning. If you don't believe me, try all this and see how it works for you. <laughs> um, I couldn't believe people that talked about this on Dr. Berg's Facebook group and his uh, testimonial videos. I just thought, yeah, that's a bunch of crap, but no, it's true. You have increased energy all day when you get the sugar out of your body. I don't have any pain anywhere in my body. I used to have like this lower back pain and then some days my feet would hurt and I would get headaches. I don't have that anymore. I feel great all day, every day. And it sounds like this is really complicated and hard to do, but it's easy once you figure out a routine and it's sustainable forever for the rest of my life. There's no reason to go back to what I was doing before. That didn't work. Why would I change this? This is the best I have ever felt. And the foods are really delicious. At first you think, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I can't eat bread, I can't eat corn, um, I can't eat fast food, but there is so much support and information online with Facebook groups and YouTube and blogs, um, recipes, you can find anything you want and you won't miss those old crappy foods once you change because I don't ever crave them. I enjoy what I eat and it's very satisfying and delicious. Okay, so the final part of this is the skincare routine, which is like hardly anything. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for your compliments on my complexion. It has definitely improved during this protocol and my skincare routine is so basic. Mornings, I use an apricot scrub and then Follow that with a witch hazel on a cotton ball. I use CoverGirl makeup. It's nothing expensive. And in the evenings, I just wash my face with Dove soap and moisturize with almond oil before I go to bed. I really think the mineral water has a lot to do with it and the healthy fats, as well as the collagen powder so all of those things are good for your skin as well as the other health benefits. But the foods and nutrients I consume do the work from the inside. And I just don't consume anything that has negative effects on the skin. So you asked for it and you got it. <laughs> and just rest assured my channel is not going in a direction of skincare or health or recipes or anything like that. Um, several of you just asked for this, so I wanted to give you an answer. I'm happy to answer any questions you have about any of this, but we will now go back to our regularly scheduled eBay programming. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.